কি এম এল এ জেলা মত কে তাই সানি হেলোর কি মাত বফের বফের হা কে দরবার মং তঙ্কা জং কে ইন রবার থাই কে জেলা বাদ হা কী বেলা জোখতেও উমন্ত্রী রংবা কে জেলা ও কনরেড কে সংমা উলবান রা এ কমং তঙ্কা জং কে জেলা না কবন্তা উসনেম আর হাজার আর ফুসাও আর হাজার আর ফুসান কবডুনা আর হাজার আর কুন্ডাই ক্লোর তঙ্কা উমন্ত্রী রংবা আগ জেলা ও কনরাট কঙ্কাল চংমা হাকাস বালং উলওয়ানরা এক মং তঙ্কা জঙ্গ সাম আর হাজার আরফুসাও আর হাজার আরফুসান জঙ্গ জেলা কাবডুনা দা আর হাজার আরফ খুন্দাই ক্লোর তঙ্কা কাবু উলা সেমরু বাকে দেখ মিশন টেন কাজিংথমু বনকেন তিয় বাকে ককট কে জেলা কাবনকেন জ শা কাশিফো বিলিয়ন ইউ এস ডলার কাট হাকাস নাম আর হাজার আরফুফ্রা উমন্ত্রী রংবা উলাপন পা বাকে ইয়ং দরবার বাকে জিং অলম পিসা বারো লং কলং আর পুন্য হাজার নিয়পু আর ক্লোর তঙ্কা হা গবালা মং বা রেভনিউ রিসিট কলং আর ফুলাই হাজার সানস পা খাটসান ক্লোর তঙ্কা বাট কা ক্যাপিটাল রিসিট কলং লাই হাজার সানস পা সান পুন্য ক্লোর তঙ্কা হাবা প্লাট ন এগ জিং সিমরাম বা লাই হাজার সানস পা আর পুন্য ক্লোর তঙ্কা কা জিং অলম পিসা বলা মং কলং আর পুলাই হাজার সানস পা সাপু সান ক্লোর তঙ্কা কাজিং মং বানপন লোট কলং আর পুন্য হাজার নিউপু আর ক্লোর তঙ্কা ইয়া কাবা কা রেভনিউ এক্সপেন্ডিচার লামং খাট খান্ডাই হাজার হন্ড্রিউ স্পা আসান পুলাই ক্লোর তঙ্কা বাট কা ক্যাপিটাল এক্সপেন্ডিচার কলং নিউ হাজার সাও স্পা খাট খান্ডাই ক্লোর তঙ্কা উলিথু বাকিং সেও বেকা সুট জঙ্গ সাম আর হাজার আর ফুসাও আর হাজার আর ফুসান লামং বাগান লং সে হাজার আর স্পা আলাই পন্ট্রিউ ক্লোর তঙ্কা বাকিং সেও কা বাই বাম তো মেন কালং সে হাজার ফ্রা স্পা আন রূপ সান ক্লোর তঙ্কা উকনরাট কঙ্কাল সংমা উলং বাকাথং জং সরকার জেলা কানলং কবই নিক সিফৌত লিগ জেলা কি বা হাকলি আদু অজংগারি হাবা ফাই সাকাথং জং গা জিডিপি বাট এস ডি জি কাদা কাস নাম আর হাজার লাইফু আর বাট কানিক জিং আঙ্গুত কে কে এ কে কবলা বানপুন উরলং দ্য রিসেন্ট পাস্ট গিভস আস অল দ্য রিজনস টু বি অপটিমিস্টিক এন্ড মুভ ফরওয়ার্ড উইথ কনফিডেন্স এন্ড প্রাইড আওয়ার টার্গেট টু বি অ্যামংস দ্য টপ 10 স্টেটস অফ দ্য কান্ট্রি in per capita gdp and sdg goals by 2032 is ambitious but possible my government will make every effort to make it possible as an intermediate goal meghalaya will contribute to the vision of viksit bharat by increasing its gdp to 10 billion us dollars by 2028 this is the commitment i made to honorable prime minister Shri Narendra Modi ji and year ago I reiterate the commitment today in this August house the last budget outlined the foundational plan for the 10 billion dollar economy and 5 lakh employment opportunities by 2028 this budget further elaborates that plan and provides the funding required for its implementation we will achieve a 10 billion us dollar economy through focusing on 10 opportunities i would like to commit to 10 guarantees which will ensure that every meghalayan benefits from the growth story and that our development over the next 4 years is equitable sustainable and just sir the continuing sir continuing the tradition of improving the budgetary practice the finance department has prepared revised estimates for the current financial year in january this exercise enables realigning expenditures to be in line with the receipts the revised estimates for 2023 24 are being presented before this august house along with the budget estimates of 2024 25 the vision of doubling the state gsdp and making meghalaya a 10 billion us dollar economy was set with gsdp of 2022 23 as the benchmark when the state's gsdp was 42697 crores or 5.3 billion us dollars the gsdp for 2024 2025 is projected at 52973 crores or a 6.6 billion us dollar economy the average annual growth rate for the period of 2023-25 has been a reassuring 11.4%. These numbers are encouraging and demonstrate the state is on track to achieve the 10 billion US dollar economy target. The state's support will begin from birth and continues through early childhood schooling and college. Under early childhood development mission The government plans to upgrade 
2,148 existing Anganwadi centers and expand the network to cover all villages by opening new centers in 1,500 uncovered villages. An investment of 500 crores will be made over next five years with next year's allocation at 47 crores. My government has undertaken a phased upgradation of infrastructure in all 2,044 government schools under the umbrella of mission education at a cost of 326 crores. Major renovation and reconstruction works have been completed in 220 secondary and higher secondary schools and works have been and works are ongoing in about 100 schools. Another 1,725 schools are at different stages of renovation. It is a matter of great satisfaction that by the end of next year, all government schools will have dignified learning environments. Mission Education 2.0 will be launched in 2024-25 to provide assured minimum facilities, power, clean drinking water, toilets, and basic furniture at all government schools. I am allocating 100 crores for mission education for 2024-25. To engage adolescents and youth at the community level, the government has allocated an ambitious project for setting up of libraries for children and adolescents in 750 villages of the state at an estimated cost of 162 crores. I am announcing a new scheme for supporting the higher secondary students. The Chief Minister's scholarship scheme will be provided in 2024-25 to meritorious students in class 11 and 12. The government will also be launching a new program for promoting the comprehensive and well-being of adolescents called Empower with an investment of 380 crores. I'm allocating 3,539 crores to strengthen all the interventions in the education sector, including 1,335 crores as grant and aid salaries. I'm therefore presenting the budget for 2024-25 with a fiscal deficit of 2,029 crores, which is about 3.83% of the GSDP. Sir, I would like all members of this August House and citizens to remember this budget as Mission 10, an action plan for building a $10 billion economy through leveraging 10 opportunities and providing 10 guarantees. The accomplishment of Mission 10 in 2028 will coincide with 10 years of the MDA government. Mr. Speaker, sir, with these words, I now commend the budget to this August House. Ha kene ke dorbar mangtengka u Konrad Kongkal Sangma ha bejuba bijingkeli balawan ra du MLA kamaureng keneng uba Heaving Stone Karperan. Ula pentep ke yang dorbar bag sarkar klub Oden Klem Shongthak bad ke sarkar pedeng ban penrung no kaktian khasi bad garo ha ka eight schedule jong kriti sinchari. Bad ke sarkar jela kalapha prat ligi sithi sha ke sarkar pedeng. Nrai kam shimla don ke jing penshai ne jing batai benia na ke sarkar pedeng halor ki dao jong ke jing slam ban penrung yakini ki art ligi kaktian ha ka eight schedule. Ule pentip ru berkaktian khasi bat garo ki dayna pedang katup jangki laipu prateli ki kaktian ki badang seakut bat katanat home affairs. The fact that it is the fact that because we send, the government send both garo and khasi language to the government of India. That is, I think that is the main reason that the Ministry of Home Affairs denied. As per my knowledge, in 2003 also, the government Assam has done the same thing. They sent two languages, that is Karbi and Garo, uh, and Bodo. The government of India accepted only uh, Bodo language. It is the fact. Sir, what I can understand from the honorable member, uh, he is contradicting himself in his statement, is what I can understand. Because in the first instance, he says that is it a reason that both Khasi and Garo were sent together uh, as a demand that neither was accepted. Then he goes on to say that like Assam had sent Bodo and Karbi, but only Bodo was accepted. So if it was accepted in Assam's case where 
they accepted Bodo for whatever reason at that point in time. Then uh, sending two languages or three languages from our side, Government of India would have accepted whatever they felt was uh, meeting the criteria as per their, uh, their understanding. So I don't uh, uh, specifically agree with that fact because he has replied the answer himself by saying that Bodo and Karbi were sent and only Bodo was uh, selected. So the process of how the selection is done is uh, something that only at MHA level they will be able to tell. But the official communication to us, sir, I'm sticking purely with official. I'm not talking about politics or different kind of uh, other uh, areas and different uh, steps that Government of India takes for whatever different reasons, keeping different factors in mind. I'm purely talking on official communication that as of now, Government of India has stressed that there is no specific criteria for consideration of any particular language and hence sending two languages or three languages from a site should not be a reason for a particular language not being accepted. Hakabaya Dei Baga Jing Tumuka Sarkar Jala Ban Kang Kardab Noi Ka Maumlo Chara Simen Limited MCCL. Usumbut Menteri Rang Baga Jala Uba Kami Ekatanat Commerce and Industries Uba Senyaw Balang Dahar. Ula Ong Baga Sarkar Jala Kan Sashimrai Ka Bakat Doa Pua Andro Benai La An Kang Dam No An Eam Ya Ka MCCL. Bat kum baka long mentahi, kesorkar jela kadang bisar benia akan kekam. Uli itu baka MCCL kadang ars pa anyopo perangut kinong trei, berkesorkar kan sekot ya kerennya baru kikin huan kebedon bentah. Ban lak ban syem mekarai ke bebiang ea, bat ula kular ban syem mekarai ke bedai, bat om dan manu menuru ke ban syak tak. So, may I know whether the new dry process has started commissioning? Most of the sir, during that time it was started, but right from 2020 till date, the plan was shut down. Till date, right from 2020 during COVID times, till date, the plan was shut down. Sir, since the government is uh, under examination for closing down the MCCL, may I know whether all these stakeholders have been taken into consideration during the examination process? Yeah, Mr. Speaker, sir, numbers of meetings have been held, even at the level of Chief Minister and even at my level also. He has reviewed consultation along with the local MLA, MDC, and the same Osora, and all the stakeholders we are invited them. We have discussed through even number of decisions has been held. So even now, we are yet to come to the financing stage because, yes, it's true that the matter is quite pending a long time. So we are, I think, maybe within six months' time, we will be able to take a final decision, what decision should take. But whenever we take a decision, I'll make sure that all the stakeholders and the local peoples and the leaders from the area will be on board and we will take the best decision for the interests of the state and particularly the people of that area, Mamlo and Chirasiman.